Hi, this is Heather with Keep It Simple Social Media. And in this quick video, I am going to show you how you add a person as a page role on your business page. Now you would do this because perhaps someone else is going to create content for you or you want to put someone you know, love and trust on as a page role in case your business page is ever hacked and you cannot access it. At least someone that you know, love and trust will have access to that page. Now I'll point out a couple of things when we get into the area where you're going to add this person. The first thing you want to do is over on the left hand side, you want to scroll down to where it says settings and let's all click on settings. The first thing I want to draw to your attention when it comes to page roles, which is located down here, is the fact that I'm an admin on this business page and that means I have a general tab. Now the reason I'm pointing this out is because a general tab has the option to remove or delete a business page. So when you add someone as an administrator on your business page, they have full power. So you best know, love and trust this person because many times people have been disgruntled and left a business and deleted the business page without the owner of that business even understanding what happened. So now let's learn how to add someone to your business page in page roles. So let's click on page roles and it is in here that you can see it says assign a new page role. And if you go ahead and add the person's name, they will pop up automatically if in fact you are friends with that person on Facebook. So sometimes it's easier to friend that person before you add them or ask them what is their email address associated with their personal profile on Facebook. So you can try to find the person that way. And here's an example. My name is Heather Clifford. It is a very popular name in North America. In fact, I have Googled over 75 Heather Cliffords. So trying to find the real Heather Clifford on Facebook can be problematic. So I advise that you are friends with them on Facebook or you know their email address that's associated with their Facebook personal profile. Now over here you can see where it says editor. What you want to do is go ahead and decide what it is you want that person to be doing on your business page and you can always research what each option is. In this case I'm going to add admin this is my husband I'm adding. So when soon as I click on add, Facebook automatically asks me what my password is. So you have to know what your password is on your Facebook personal profile in order to add a person as an admin on your business page. There we go. And now Norm McPhail is pending and that means that he has been sent a message on Facebook asking him if he would like to be an admin on my Facebook business page. Now if I want to remove someone you would just go ahead and either cancel the invitation or edit and then you would be able to remove that person. So I'm going to give you a quick little example of how to remove someone. You're going to go ahead back into your settings tab and from your settings tab to your page roles and it is from here that you can see all the people that are on your business page and the different roles that you've assigned to them. So let's just say I wanted to remove someone. You would click on edit and then you would decide if you want to remove them you would click on remove and once again, you would have to add your password. So that's pretty much how simple it is to add people to your Facebook business page, as well how to remove people from your Facebook business page in administrative roles, editing roles, etc. This is Heather, and remember everyone, let's keep it simple.